I'm back with another video, and this is one that you do not want to miss. Keep it locked. So we're back at it. I apologize for taking so long to put out another video. I have recently launched my new website, kingdomfragrances.com. I sell fragrances and um, I have been overwhelmed with orders. I'm not even going to front and just play like that. I've been overwhelmed and um, it's been a good thing, but it's also been bad because I wanted to put out more content for you guys, but it is what it is. But we're here today. We're talking about a company. I've had this bottle in my collection uh, for probably about uh, three, four months now. I have gotten a few wares out of it, so I can definitely tell you about it and what's on my mind about it. But I also want to give a shout out to my bro, a quality fragrance that actually put me on this. I watched his video about eight months ago on this fragrance and I said, I got to get it. That sounds dope. It was a blind buy. I don't encourage blind buys, but I did it, so let's get into this review. This fragrance comes from the house of Savoir Faire, and it is called Soul Cafe. Now, this is an independent fragrance house based out of Atlanta, Georgia. I had to rock my Atlanta hat today, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, so I gotta show them some love, but it's also a black-owned fragrance company and a small business, so I got to give them some support. But this fragrance right here, this one, if you have not smelled this one, if you have never had the pleasure of smelling this one, I'm sorry, but we gotta get straight into it because this one needs some attention. Oh. oh my God, man. Every time I smell this one, every time I smell this one, I just have to take a step back, rearrange myself. I just want to dissect it each time I smell this, but it's such a seductive fragrance. It's so captivating. This is something that I have not smelled similar to anything that's currently on the mainstream market. This does not you know, resemble anything like that in my opinion. You get bits of tobacco in it, slight tobacco in the opening, you get some bergamot. It does have some florals in it. The, definitely the lavender plays a big role in this. And then I get slight, it's very faint, but in the background you get that burnt firewood smell. But this one, this is a grown up fragrance all the way, all day, every day, twice on Sunday. This is one that's going to get you some attention. It's gonna have her rub up on you. It's gonna have her moving a little closer and try to smell what you got on. But also ladies, this one, I think a good side for you too. I think this one could actually be unisex. In my opinion, I don't know how it's marketed, but I think this one, the ladies can wear this one, the men can wear it. And I think it's gonna be seductive all the way around, regardless if it's a woman wearing it or a man wearing it. This one though, don't take it lightly. But what I love about this company is that the attention to detail with making this fragrance. I was reading about it, I was looking up and researching this company. Everything is done by hand. So the fragrances are blended by hand, they're bottled by hand, and I just look at it like, when you have attention to detail and you're having this type of care in producing a fragrance where the bigger mainstream companies are not doing that, right? They have machines producing all the fragrances so they can pump out as many as they can to make more profit. They don't care about the consumer necessarily. They just care about making more product to put more dollars in their pocket. I look at a company like Chris Classic when he's making these fragrances and he's pushing them out and you see them repeatedly selling out Obviously, he's doing something right, and I'm not hyping this up. I tell you guys all the time, I do not hype fragrances up. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. I've talked about fragrances on this channel before that were garbage, that I don't necessarily side well with me, that I don't like, and I tell you, I'll be real with you, always, keep it 100. But this one right here, again, no hype. I'm being real with you. This one is one to not sleep on, when it's back in stock, I encourage you to get you some. If you have a, can get a sample from somebody, get you a sample, check it out. See what your girl, dude you work with, family members, see what they think about this fragrance because I assure you, 
This one, in my opinion, again, embodies this very full experience of a fragrance you're gonna get bits of everything. So if you like citrus, you get citrus. If you like uh, tobacco, you get slight tobacco. If you like some florals in it as a dude, you get florals in it. If you like a woodiness and some oud, you get that as well in it. It is extremely well crafted, very well blended. Like I said, very full. It's got tons of depth and take some time with this fragrance, right? Don't just put it on your skin and be like, okay, I smell good. If you want to be somebody who want to actually smell a fragrance for what it was crafted for, take time with it, right? Sit down and chill and then actually examine this fragrance and see how it evolves and changes over the course of the day that you wear it or over the week. So the notes in this one though, you're gonna get some tobacco, some bergamot, some blood orange, black pepper, patchouli, musk, amber wood, some oud again, lavender, coffee, and firewood. I will tell you the coffee isn't extremely loud. I really don't pick up too much on it. I'm sure it's there, obviously it's in the notes, but I just don't get it too much from my nose. Two to three hours of projection, all day longevity of this one. This one's not gonna come off your skin. Exceptional date night fragrance. Again, this one's very seductive. You can wear it to the club. I do think it's gonna side better in the cooler months or when it's colder outside. I don't necessarily mean the winter time, but I just mean when it's cooler, when it's not you know, 150 degrees outside. But I do say that I think you can pull this one off if you want to wear it in the warmer times. Just be careful with the trigger finger. I think two to three sprays is gonna have you good for the day. If you're going above three and it's hot outside, I would say eh, straight away from that. And if you're gonna be in office, yeah, two to three is good. I think you're straight with two or three. If you go over that, I wouldn't do it. I'm just being honest with you, I wouldn't do it, so. Um, but exceptional fragrance. I absolutely love this fragrance and I'm very excited to check out others from their line. This one goes for about 95 US dollars for 50 ml and I think it is definitely fair in my book for the time and quality attention to detail that goes into making each and every batch of this fragrance. Everything about this one is exceptional. Again, don't believe me, I don't care. If you don't believe me, don't believe me. Get a, get a sample of it, talk to somebody that has it, watch some other reviews, right? When you're done watching this video, go to Quality Fragrance. I'm gonna link his stuff in the description. Check him out, watch his video, see what he's talking about this one. I'm not hyping it up, it's an exceptional fragrance. I think you should definitely not be sleeping on this one. You should check it out for yourself. But this is a review for Savoir Faire Soul Cafe. Thank you so much for checking it out. I'll have the results up here soon for the 1500 subscriber giveaway. So make sure you check my community posts, I think in about a day or two. But as always, always have new videos coming out. Always have new fragrances coming in. Y'all stay safe, be blessed and please. Always keep it locked. Peace.